Well, in what looks like a tit-for-tat move, Russia has announced that it was shutting Finland's consulate in St. Petersburg. It is also expelling nine of its diplomats. Russia called the move a response to Finland's confrontation, confrontational anti-Russian policy. Earlier this month, Finland expelled nine diplomats working at the Russian embassy in Helsinki for acting as in, in intelligence capacity. This was news. Now let's look at the fine print here. In May last year, the Russian president Vladimir Putin said Finland joining NATO is not an immediate threat to Russia. But things changed when Finland actually initiated its NATO bid. Finally, when Helsinki was formally incorporated in the NATO in this April, Russia called it a dangerous historic mistake and warned of unspecified countermeasures. Expelling diplomats can be seen as a very first manifestation of these countermeasures. Finland has been a long, a neutral country. It was treaty bound after the Second World War to remain so, but it changed its position last year in the wake of the Russian aggression in Ukraine. NATO's eastward expansion has long been a red line for Russia. Ukraine's possible accession in NATO is considered as one of the main reasons behind Russian invasion. But with Finland's joining NATO, the military alliance has not only moved east but also north. NATO's district boundaries with Russia have almost doubled. Not only this, NATO has now got a new avenue to watch and to ultimately contain Russian influence in the Baltics. Finland's accession has also brought in new resources and strategic infrastructure into the alliance. But the accession was also bound to trigger sour relations with Russia, signs of which have already started coming in. Reacting to Russia's announcement of expelling diplomats, the Finnish Prime Minister says his country was obliged to start preparing for similar measures. So this certainly does not end here.